Well, of course, exercise is great on its own, right? But did you know that tracking your heart rate while you're working out can lead to different results? Fox 43's Ali Debicki and trainers over at the York JCC show us the different zones in this week's Fit Minute. There are quite a few different zones you can train in, from steady state training to high intense intervals, and really it just depends on what you like to do. Let's break it all down for you right here. So monitoring your heart rate while you're working out is going to do a number of things. It's great to know your baseline, your resting heart rate, and then while you're training, it's good to know what zones you're in. So your resting heart rate, a good place to be is in between like 50 to 70. Your resting heart rate is gonna be determined if you take medications or if you're just very active or inactive. Good warm up heart rate is gonna be about 120 to 130. If you are just walking slowly, it might be in between like 90 to 110. If you're getting a brisk walk in and actually upper body movement with it, you might be around 120, 130. If you are doing max heart rate training, we wanna do it with a trainer, not necessarily by yourself for the first time. Uh, 220 minus your age, you wanna hit that max heart rate like three times within your workout so that you're gonna continue to burn calories throughout the day. Well, that's this week's Fox 43 Fit Minute with the JCC and you, you just, just got, got better. better.